What up internet? Just thought I'd show you guys my Oscar Aquarium. Um, they're three and a half years old. And they're in there with eight silver dollars. It's a 150 gallon tank or 560 odd liters. Uh, it's five foot by two foot by two foot. And I've got two uh, canister filters that are rated to um, 2200 litres an hour but they probably probably only do about 800 litres an hour in reality by the time it goes through all this and I've got them just sitting up here into these planter boxes with a piece of filter floss just to catch any debris that the the canisters miss and then it goes through this bed of uh, oh it's about five kilos of lava rock and lots of pothos and signonia cuttings and the same on this side the canister filter for the other side same thing five kilos of lava rock and just a little return pipe there and there's a backup on each one just in case this one ever gets blocked, uh, it'll have a backup so it doesn't overflow onto the floor. Yeah, you can see the the flow that they give is pretty good. Um, so probably cycles the tank twice an hour maybe. And there's an Aqua One, uh, sorry, an Aqua Clear 110 on the back there, which has got you know, the big sponge that comes with it which is great for catching mechanical filtration and biological. Got, and there's a, uh, maybe a kilo of, uh, of uh, bio balls there. Or scented uh, backy balls, whatever they're called. For beneficial bacteria. And they've just got my pump. Uh, it's a, I think the brand is Otto. Otto. Uh, it's rated to 2,000 litres an hour and yeah I just put filter floss in that just to polish the water and to give a bit of good water flow good circulation as you can see it's full of micro bubbles um, uh, everyone seems to be against micro bubbles but I, I just I never understood why I thought I think it looks good it looks natural and it highly oxygenates the tank and uh, fish are healthy um, I tried measuring him the other night uh, if when he would keep still enough for me and uh, he was around 13 inches so he's, he's somewhere between yeah 13 and 14 inches and this guide size so uh, a little bit smaller he's probably 12 to 13 inches and he's about 13 to 14 you know, just a little bit bigger he's a bit thicker th to girth wise and I originally got the silver dollars because the tiger Oscar was attacking um, this guy over here uh, who my son named Jeff he was actually a Christmas present for him but I just found out that he's Jeff Rena <laughs> he's laid eggs about two months ago <clears throat> so if this one's a male then Maybe I'll, he ended up eating all the eggs. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. And, yeah, I got the silver dollars because he kept attacking um, the albino Oscar. And, uh, yeah, so I started with four of them. Uh, that tank over there, that was that's a 200-litre, 50-gallon. That was their grow-out tank. And, uh, yeah, he just would not leave him alone, just relentless. So I got the originally four silver dollars and and um, then a week or oh, a couple of weeks later I got another four I thought a group of eight would be good a school of eight and yeah he chased them around for well, the first week probably until he realized he couldn't catch them and that, that got all the aggression out of him and now they get along like peas and carrots as they say yeah they're like best mates and it's just a, that's the rock they like to breed on, that big rock there. He likes to lay his eggs there, he always nests there. 
Yeah, so that's this tank anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, two 30 watt heaters there, a couple of air stones, and I, I, I can't recommend the Pothos or um, uh, what do you call it? aquaponics highly enough. It really, really works. And uh, this one, I only got this one recently, um, but this one's been going for ooh, three months and was about the size of that one when I got it and within three months it's just exploded. It's got massive long vines coming off it. It just grows really fast. <clears throat> Helps keep the nitrates under control. And um, this is the grow out tank I had the Oscars in and I thought, oh, I'll get myself a couple of goldfish. So. They're about, uh, they're two and a half years old. And this big guy here, he's, I measured him last night, he's 11 inches from head to the tip of his tail. <clears throat> measured him while he was sleeping. He is just enormous. And as you see, I've got some <clears throat> black beard algae growing in there, which I, I, I like it. As long as I can keep it under control, you know, it doesn't, Every two weeks I've got to clean the glass because it starts to... There's probably a couple of little bits on the glass now. It's hard to see them. So, but yeah, just got a, a canister, same canister filter that I've got on the other tank. <clears throat> they're, uh, they're $100, including delivery on eBay <clears throat> when I bought them. I think now they're maybe 110 or 115 The price went up just a little bit, not much. But they're great value. And oh... So inside these ones, I've got uh, five kilos of uh, biomedia in each one, and five kilos in each one of these planter boxes. So we've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty kilos. Oh, not to mention the kilo in the back of that. So twenty, twenty-one kilos of biomedia for a hundred and fifty-gallon tank. So it's doing its job. This one's got. Well, I just put in this one what it came with. Uh, came with the large um, sintered glass balls, kind of look like a moon with lots of craters in them. So it's got a, uh, the first two baskets, uh, two coarse sponges, and the next basket's got a, a, a medium sponge and then a fine sponge, and then the top two baskets are just filled with media, the uh, sintered glass, whatever they're called backy balls um, and it came with a bag of uh, what do you call it uh, chemical filtration um, activated carbon so I just threw that in there because it came with it why not and I only just finished this the other day this planter box for this one I've just done the same thing I do with the others and uh, this one's um, this one's a little bit smaller so this one took uh, four kilos of this stuff, volcanic rock. So there's plenty of surface surface area, excuse me, on it, and got a nice size uh, pothos for it. It's got some nice vines growing off it, and it's just what this tank needs. Because, as you all know, that goldfish are very messy, maybe even more so than Oscars, or at least just as much. And I painted the background back the other day. Um, it's got a little $20 hang on the back filter here. Uh, I think it was rated to 400 litres an hour. But yeah, it probably does uh, <laughs> uh, half that or a quarter of that. They never do what they say. But uh, yeah, I took the cartridge out of it and I just got rid of that and just put a coarse sponge in there for beneficial bacteria and some pothos, pothos or devil's ivy off cuttings to turn it into a kind of a little refugium and I uh, put a pre-filter I don't know if you can see that yeah the pre-filter uh, sponge over the intake so no large debris gets in there and this this filter this um, submersible pump was rated to 2000 litres an hour it was 30 bucks and delivery. I've had it for quite a while. You see there's algae growing on it. It's got some black beard algae growing there. Um, 
but yeah, I, that, I just fill that one with uh, filter floss and throw that out oh, every week or two and replace it. So it gives good water flow and, but yeah, this is the main filtration and it's very simple. Just have my canister filter, just hooks on there, runs through the bed. And just down here, I've got my, see if I can give you a look there. Just, yeah, I just drilled a hole the size I needed, put it through and they sealed it up with um, aquarium safe silicon. And I didn't put a second one on this, a uh, backup in case it floods, because I tried, but there wasn't really a, enough room. I didn't really think it through too well. I didn't put any thought into this, really. I just started doing it. And I thought, I just put this, um, this is gutter mesh. Uh, it cost, I think it was like $4 for a meter. And yeah, so I just used that. So no dead leaves can, you know, get past it or fall into it over the top here and get in there and block that because if that gets blocked uh, it's going to start pouring out onto the floor so that should stop that and yeah that's it for now so yeah I, I really can't recommend these um, aquaponics little overhead sumps I think they're great for reducing uh, nitrate nitrates and um, they give you extra biological media uh, to give you a full nitrogen cycle break down the ammonia and nitrites um, yeah and I do water changes on this I do big oh, both tanks I do two-third water changes every two weeks yeah I like to take it right down to a, I don't know where the fish aren't too uncomfortable but you know but large water changes because they are messy fish and I've it's been a week since I've cleaned it but uh, it, as you can see it's crystal clear looks really good and uh, yeah so thanks for watching